Hey you guys, it's me, Rachel here, with Sense of Tempo County Corso. So I know I left you on a cliffhanger before, but truth be told, the video was just so long and I can see the watch time on videos and a lot of people don't, don't watch. <laughs> um, you know, the attention span of people is diminishing, um, which is fine. And so I wanted to do the reveal on a different video. Come on. So Gabriel did pass and not only did he pass, he passed with flying colors. He has, he's got really good hips. She said, um, really good hips. Um, and I remember whenever we did Zlatan's hips, cause like, you know, if you're not used to looking at Mastiff hips, you may not be super impressed with the hips. Um, and so at first she was kind of like, well, I don't really know about the hips. Hey, 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 don't run into me. And, um, and, um, but the elbows were definitely bad on Zlatan. And so, um, but I was very happy with Zlatan's hips. Um, I've looked at a lot of hips and they were very good hips. Um, this time she was like, no, the hips are great. And, um, and the elbows are good. So, um, there was like, she didn't see anything. Elbows really aren't on a great, they're either good or bad. It's kind of one of those things. So the next dog that I'm having tested is um, Memphis. This is the black dog right here. Uh, Memphis is out of Asia and um, Don Juan. He is a full brother. Well, genetically, figuratively, a full brother to um, Kubrick, which was my last prospect. Um, and I'm sure y'all <clears throat> may remember he had one bad hip. So... Um, Everything else was good, but he had one bad hip. So I bred him to um, Don Juan, which is Dragoslav's brother, because I've not had any kind of hip issues or anything out of him, um, because I liked that breeding so much, and um, that produced Memphis, um, this guy here. So um, anyway, so far so good. Um, he's got a, a gorgeous head, even bigger than Kubrick's. And Kubrick had a beautiful head. <clears throat> um, and he's a really big boy. Um, and he's very, 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 very smart. Like, he has, like, um, been on a mission to make himself my my house dog. Um, and uh, just the temperament is just second to none. And the structure is really good as well. So we're going to see, um, you know, what happens. I will say that he's, you know, he's, like, five months old now. So... Um, I believe that I started to see symptoms on um, Kubrick at um, six months of age. Um, and I haven't seen any limping out of him. Hey, Memphis, where you going? Um, haven't seen any symptoms out of him. So hoping that that's all good because the, you know, they're both him and um, him and Gabriel are both really remarkable dogs is what I'll tell you. They are very close to the complete package. Um, they both got some growing to do. They, you know, these big males, they go through some really weird growing stuff. So, um, I don't judge them. You know, the, you're supposed to look at them at eight weeks of age and then just close your eyes. As you guys know, you guys have been watching me for a long time. Um, <clears throat> and at three years of age, um, and it really does take till three, they will, um, they will become what they were. Um, now this fawn female here, um, absolutely fantastic dog, um, in the body. I love her temperament. She's very, very, very engaged with me. She wants nothing to do. Like whenever I have her out with all the other dogs, she don't, she don't want to be with them. She just wants to be with me. Um, she does currently have like, um, uh, entropion. Um, now sometimes that can be from allergies whenever they move to a new place, um, and sometimes it's, um, it's an age thing. Sometimes they can grow out of it. Um, it can be prevalent in some lines, but, um, I haven't really had many issues with it. I've had one dog that had it and that dog never produced any, um, that did. So, um, so it's not something that I'm really particularly concerned about. Um, as far, and it's a very, you know, in the realm of possible health conditions, uh, entropion is a cosmetic issue. So it's, it's on the lower, 
area of concern than, you know, heart issues, you know, health, like big time health issues, right? Um, so anyway, so we're going to see, um, how these guys turn out. Um, and, uh, I'm just really glad that Gabriel is good in, um, in both those areas. And for anyone wondering, you know, thinking, oh, that's too young. A lot of people will have probably seen stuff on the internet about OFA being, you know, you have to have them two years of age. That is not true. Um, OFA is very unreliable. It used to be done at a year old and then it was found to be so unreliable that they had to bump it up to two years of age. And basically because it's simply just an x-ray um, that is um, given to three different veterinarians and then they each give their opinion on those hips. And um, if the vet that does it like very like like compresses the hips in like really turns them in and you can make hips look better than they actually are. Um, and so anyway, so they're very unreliable, but pen hip has been found to be reliable, um, as early as 16 weeks of age. They will certify at 16 weeks of age. And there are people on groups, um, on Facebook that are like about like pen hip and things like that. And there are people that have had their dogs tested at a young age and then continued all the way up into older age, um, into seniors just to see if the hips changed or anything. And, Hips do not, um, good hips on pen hip do not become bad hips. Hey, Gabriel, good boy. Good boy, Gabriel. Good boy, yes, good man. What a sweet good man. Yes, you are, you're a good man. Yes, you are, you're a good boy. You are a good boy. Yes, you are a good boy. Yes, you are a good boy. Yes, you are, yes, you are. You're a good boy, yes, you are. Good boy, you good boy. Yeah, he did so good today at the vet. I had to take him in my truck. And my truck is, um, it doesn't have any tint and it's a single cab. So a lot of dogs get very scared in it. It's, it's like they are, um, I think that for them, it's like they are, um, like in a fishbowl. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's, they're too close to the road. Um, <clears throat> and so anyway, he calmed down really easily, really quickly um, within about 15, 20 minutes. And then he just went to sleep. I was very impressed. He didn't poop. He didn't do any of that nasty stuff, which I talked about in the other video. Now I just from just remembered I've had a lot going on y'all. Um, in regards to preacher, I know people are going to be um, wondering, sh ah, stop. Um, don't bite on me. Um, I know that people are going to be wondering, he is still with us. Um, the prednisone does seem to be helping him. Now, um, I went to a different vet this time, which is actually my favorite vet, um, but she's hard to get. So I can't like, um, I can't get in as quickly with her as I can with the other vet. And I wanted his results. So, um, she kind of helped me. She, um, you know, she, she gave me different advice and she gave me, um, very helpful advice in the, in, in like, which is what I was wondering was like, you know, what am I like with the prednisone? Like what realistically am I looking at? And she gave me that answer and I, it wasn't hard. You know what I mean? Like she, for her, it was like literally a no brainer. It was like, yeah, she's like the longest I've ever seen. She said was like nine months, but it was a dog that had, it was lymphoma, but it was like internal lymph nodes. And so the, pro what happens with the, with, with these dogs, and she really explained it better, is that basically when the lymph nodes that you can see on the outside get swollen, what happens is that eventually the neck ones swell up to the point where the dog cannot, can no longer breathe properly. And she said, basically, as soon as you start to see him like laying his head in a certain way to be more comfortable for breathing, she goes, that's when it's time. And she was like, you know, it's not, she's like, you don't want to, um, she goes, you, you would, you would want to do it a day too early than a day too late. And I was like, okay, I'm fine with that. And what I've decided to do, Hey, uh, 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 what I've decided to do is, um, I'm going to get diamonds made of all my dogs, including my old dog, terrible over here, Psh, Gabriel, what is it? Come here. And, um, and like, they're not like, I mean, they're expensive, they're diamonds, but, um, if I get the smaller ones, I can just do, which is really what I would need to do. I can do a ring and I can just do all these multicolor diamonds on a ring 
and I feel like it would be beautiful and for me it would just be really like touching and important um, and it would just be a way for me to like keep them with me in a very meaningful way um, not just you know ashes on a shelf somewhere um, just to have them with me and I know, you know what I mean? Like, I know that they're not in the ring or anything like that. It's literally just a sentimental thing for me to have a piece of them with me at all times. You know what I mean? It's not like I think that they are going to be, like, spiritually, like, following me around or anything. Um, so, anyway, um, but Preacher's doing good. He's, he's, um, he's eating. He's perked up a bit. And, um, and she was, like, you know, telling me, like, that they will do that. But she was, like, you know... Um, truthfully, she's like, you know, you probably have a couple more weeks to like a month. And she just told me to keep an eye on his lymph nodes. And, um, because she said, you'll feel them shrink. And then she said, as soon as you feel them start to come back again, that that's your, that's your sign that the prednisone is no longer working. Um, and so anyway, so, um, so yeah. And I also, I did my own research, and, um, you know, since, since we're already looking at, um, you know, a lethal diagnosis to begin with, I am going to do the, um, ivermectin and the fenbendazole, um, just as a, you know, an experiment for everybody. Um, they they won't hurt him. Neither of those are toxic. We, we have fenbendazole on hand all the time because, um, of worming it's sold under the name safeguard. And, um, and then we have the ivermectin. We buy it at the feed store. We use it for heartworm prevention. Um, it's given on a monthly basis. So having said that, um, I'm going to do that and just see what it does. And then, you know, I'll let you guys know. Um, and, um, you know, it's not every day that you get to try to help out and see if, if something like that works. So, and like I said, you know, either way, um, it's not like we're going to do any harm. Um, it's, they're, they're both very safe, very, very tolerated, um, you know, products. And, um, and like I said, we're already looking at, you know, at a, um, at a poor prognosis. So, hey, y'all get out of that. I get so scared that they're going to find like a snake or something. Psh, oh, hey, hey, Gabriel, get out of it. Um, Go. Come here, quit. It's a big old bee. Come on, get out of here. Let's go, you bu bustards. You know, y'all heard me. <laughs> I really tried. I've been trying to um, cut down on my, on my, um, swearing. Hey, Gabriel! Get out of it! And, uh, I'm not, um, sorry, headphone users. Um, Anyway, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Cleanliness is next to godliness, and I do believe that, that that probably goes for your speech, so I'm trying to clean it up. Hey, if you don't quit trying to jump and bite my fingers, you and I are going to be fighting. You understand me? You understand me? Just because you want my attention does not mean you can do that. No. Quit being a bad dog. Your big old sloppy tongue. Go away before you get me stung by something while I'm not paying attention. Look at this beautiful pink on that flower. I don't know what, no, it's not a flower, but a plant. I don't know what that is, but that sure is interesting. She is really trying to, you shouldn't, by the way, you should never, like when you have a dog that is doing that, jumping on you, biting your hands and stuff, don't ever let that go. You have to, you have to let them know, hey, cut it out. You have to get on to them. You cannot pet them, cannot reward them because, um, that is a bad behavior that will get you nowhere very quickly. What's up, baby boy? What's up, handsome? Look how good you look. Look how good you look. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Look at you. You're a handsome man. Yeah, they said they looked him up. She, she, she knows, my vet knows, because I've, I've went through so much stuff with, you know, with my dogs lately. And she was like, you know, she's like, I know you've had some bad luck lately. And I was like, yeah, I was like, but I've also, <laughs> I've been having good luck for the past 10 years, you know what I mean? So I've been very blessed. And, um, and the thing is, is that, you know, eventually it'll happen. <laughs> if you do something long enough, eventually the bad stuff happens to you. It's just what it is. Um, my mentor told me a long time ago, he said, you know, you do this long enough, you'll see a little bit of everything. And that's just the way it is. So 
um, you know, you just, you, you, you be thankful for every dog you have that, that, that works out and that's real nice. And, um, and you just kind of have to accept the ones that don't. Um, and when you get something real nice like this, um, then you just kind of count your blessings. And, um, and so I'm hoping that this guy does too, Memphis, because I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, um, these two dogs here, Memphis and, um, and Gabriel are like, I don't know, man, they're like a team. They're, 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 they're so close in size and age and they're so beautiful. And, um, and like I said, Memphis is always trying to work his way in the house. He, like he owns it. He just comes, trots right in, lays down and uh, he doesn't run. Like sometimes when puppies will come in, they'll, they'll run just right around the house, you know, like a madman, but no, he doesn't do that. Um, he goes in, he lays down, he's, and he just looks at me like, like what? Like, you know, I belong in here. He's a very smart dog. I would dare say even he's, um, Gabriel is very sweet. Um, and he is stubborn, but there's something about, um, about Memphis where you can really see him thinking. It's just very apparent. You can, he's like obvious with it. Um, and, uh, and, 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 and this guy here, Gabriel, he's just stoic. Uh, he's got that main character thing going on. So he's definitely stubborn. Um, but, um, but he's just sweet. He's got this innocence to him, just a super duper sweet nature to him. Um, just like an angel, you know, which is why I call him Gabriel. I call him Gabe for short. So, um, and then Memphis is, um, Memphis is actually, uh, those of you may know or not know, there was a movie, um, called Gone in 60 Seconds, and, um, there was a, a character on that show that went by the name Memphis, and, um, and so, um, I think Nicolas Cage played him, and, uh, it was, it was a really good, it was a really good movie, in my opinion, so, I loved it. I like cars a lot. I like fast cars and stuff. And so for me, it was just a lot of fun. And so I named him Memphis. And most of the time, just so you know, names like come to me for the most part. Try to get some expression. Hey, watch out now, lady. Watch out now. I gotta get a name for her too. His two sisters are stunning too, by the way. I gotta get pictures of them. Oh. But anyway, I am gonna take my, I'm not gonna, I know I told you guys that Preacher's still here and I'm sure that some people want him on video again, but I can't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with y'all. Every time I do it, I just start bawling and um, I can't do it to myself anymore. Um, so we're just going to take this time privately. I will announce when, when he's gone, but, um, we're just going to take the rest of this time privately. Cause it's not fair to him either to see me all, um, you know what I mean? He, he's a very emotional dog in the sense that like he cares how I feel and I don't want to put him through any unnecessary stress either by me um, being upset. So I'm very much trying to just not think about it and to enjoy every day I have with him, which is, um, the right thing to do. And then, um, and then whenever I know that time is there, you know, I'm, a, I'm sure I'm going to ball my eyeballs out, but I'm to every, I'm trying to prepare myself is what I will say. I really do. Every day I tell them it's horrible, but like I, sp I, I'm, I'm always just quietly, gently telling myself, you know what I mean? This isn't going to last, you know, like getting myself used to the idea of him not being here. <laughs> excuse me and um and now I have his great grandson to hold on to which was like so important to me like I'm one of those people that if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get through something that's super duper painful I need I need like another dog to hold to love to like cradle I'm not one of those people that that like that like my dog dies and I don't get a dog for a while like that's not I prefer to have one even before my dog dies um and so anyway, so now I have his great grandson. I, I can feel, ah, 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 ah. I can feel very confident in my ability to love on him. They, they listen to everything. They listen to his heart and all that stuff. Come on. 
she really did a very thorough check of him. She's like, I knew, she's like, I know how much this matters to you. And she's like, we really looked him up and down real good. We checked him out real good. <sighs> so anyway, um, that's all I got to say. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.